Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Schlage L583-481 lock cylinder retainer screw is what this is. And this video is to just simply serve as visual evidence, a little bit of dimensional evidence of the screw, and then show you where it falls in the service manual. So, outside diameter of the screw, 0.244, 0.244 length overall length is just shy on one inch as you can see maybe 31 30 seconds right in that range special little uh, groove that's been cut in the screw to accommodate the other components that this works with this is one of I believe three parts that will work to keep the cylinder the mortise cylinder that you've uh, threaded in, maybe a mortise thumb turn in place. So let's switch to the screen view and take a closer look at the supporting documentation. Okay, here is indeed the item that we are looking at. Not too much to see here, but let's copy our part number. And knowing Schlage, it's going to be L583-481. Let's click here on the manufacturer's page and then fire up the service manual, which is here. This is several hundred pages long, very handy type of document, uh, certainly to have available to us. And as we wait for it to load, uh, as it does, okay, so several hundred, over a thousand. Let's do a find function on the keyboard for L583, and then let it run through a bit and start to index the document, then hit a dash. And our part number is four. Eight, one, then it will index all of these. And I do that, you know, slowly so the document can index as it goes along. And you'll see it shows up on several dozen pages. Cylinder retainer screw, part number 53 for the L400 series deadbolt. Sorry document got a little sticky on me. Okay, part 53 is right here. Of course it's going to show up again several dozen times and as we scroll through you're going to see all the instances of where that part 53 falls in. It's going to work with parts 55 and 56 Screw retainer and screw plate are what those are called. It's right there, part 53. Very handy document. It has the exploded parts drawing, certainly of all their mechanical locks, uh, basically, or at least those that are available. So a very important resource. Speaking of important resource, there are several and many other uh, important resources on our Schleg page, including all the Schleg products we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, as well as a link to the Schleg website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. Then also, just to name a few, there is a, let's see, Primus service manual is here. We have an Everest service manual. We have a service manual from 1981. That would be very interesting. Old catalogs, if you wanted to see what Schlag was making in 1972, there's a catalog for you. There's also going to be a wiring diagram template master index up here at the top near the service manual a document I refer to all the time is the cylinders and key blanks quick reference guide if you don't recall the part number for a particular key blank this would be the document certainly to refer to another one that I refer to all the time is the cylinder suffix guide I remember what RD and PD and LD and BD mean but sometimes I forget what you know, you know, uh, T means, TD, full-size construction course. So I have that document here just so that I don't have to try to memorize these, you know, 12-plus suffixes. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, it's awfully helpful that Schleg produces those parts drawing. Whatever this client needs, um, they are an industrial contractor in, the, uh, in, in New England. 
Um, they've obviously have some sort of Schleg lock and they need some ter- service done on them. Uh, they may have, who knows why they're buying this material. They may have wrenched the cylinders off to get in or someone did and they damaged those parts that retain the cylinder uh, in the lock case from spinning. Who knows why, but they've ordered, what, what you don't know is they've ordered uh, part 53, 55, and 56, the retainer, the plate, and the screw, all three uh, that I had referred to earlier. Any questions on the Schleg L583-481 lock cylinder retainer screw or any other Schleg product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.